Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below. Today's video is using the new Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. I am obsessed with this palette. It is so, so, so beautiful. I cannot say enough good things about it. It has so many different kinds of shades in here. We have a little bit more of like the warmer tones and there are some, you know, normal shades in here. Um, this makeup look that I created today is definitely on the dramatic side, so don't worry if you are someone that doesn't wear dramatic makeup. I'm definitely going to create more looks using this palette, more of like an everyday natural makeup look, so definitely leave a comment down below if you want to see something like that. Um, today I just wanted to be dramatic and creative, so I came up with this look that I'm wearing right now. So if you guys want to see how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is just the palette close up with all the different colors. So first I'm going to start off with some tape. This is just going to create a really sharp edge for your eyeshadow. So I like to just place this on the corners of my eye, meaning up to my brow. And I like to take the stickiness off just so it doesn't hurt when we pull it off. So the first shade I'm going in with Golden Ochre. And I'm starting off with just a Sigma E40 blending brush. This is just going to give us just a nice base. I'm just putting this in the crease. And then I'm going to be taking this shade called Realgar. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm going in with the same blending brush just to give it kind of like a blown out effect. I'm not being too perfect here. So I'm just focusing this in the outer corner again and just making sure it's nice and blended. Next we are going in with this brown shade called Cypress Umber and I'm going in with a Mikasa 2, E230 brush and I'm just going to apply this brown in the crease and kind of push it up against the tape, kind of creating like an outer V but I'm not being too precise. I'm just going to kind of blend this out with a... Let's see, which brush was that? That was a Morphe M433 brush, and I'm just going to kind of feather that brown onto the lid, but not like all over the lid, if you know what I mean. I'm just kind of being gentle with it and just blending it so it's not too harsh, and I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. Next, I'm going in with this gorgeous color called Love Letter, and I'm going in with an M433 brush from Morphe, and I'm just going to apply this kind of on like the outer third of my lid and just apply this over that brown. I didn't want the look to be too brown, so I'm just applying this onto the outer portion of my lid, covering that brown and just kind of blending it out and doing the same thing on the other eye. And then I'm going in with the shade Red Ochre, and I'm using that same brush, and now I'm focusing this on more of the inner corner and base of the lid and I'm just kind of blending all that together. Now I'm going back into that Cypress Umber brown shade and I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner and then taking Realgar and I'm just using a Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just going along the edges just to warm everything up and then taking a smaller brush and just really buffing out the inner corner just to make sure it blends nicely. And then taking the shade Tempra and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild brush. I'm not sure what number this is, but I'm just going to apply this under my brow bone, but also kind of blend it into these shades just to clean everything up. Now I'm just going to remove the tape and as you can see, you're left with a nice, clean, crisp line. So I'm taking my gel eyeliner, it's upside down, by Maybelline, and this Anastasia um, eyeliner brush, I think it's in the, sh the um, number 14, and I'm just going to apply 
a semi-thick wing. So I'm just going to use this brush and take my time and really make sure it's nice and clean. And then I'm just going to line my water lines and upper water line with that same black eyeliner. Now taking my Better Than Sex mascara by Too Faced and I'm just going to apply a couple coats of this mascara and then I'm going to be applying some false lashes today. I'm using the Esquito lashes in the style Big City Nights. So I'm just applying these to my lashes. No, I don't want no rest Echoing around these walls Fighting to create a song So this is what it should look like. I already applied foundation. I used the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I'm going in with this concealer, the new Born This Way concealer to match. For some reason, it, got, it didn't record me actually applying the concealer, but I'm just blending it out. I applied it underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. So to set that, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and a Sigma Tapered Highlight Brush. It is the F35. I use this to set my under eyes all the time. It's just like the perfect brush and it fits right in between all of the creases so it's amazing for that and then I'm going in with this Milani pressed powder and I'm just using an elf kabuki brush and I'm applying this on the rest of my face where I didn't use any of the Laura Mercier setting powder so I'm just going to do that And then hopping back to the eyes, I'm going in with red ochre again, and I'm using a Morphe M432 brush, and I'm just putting this on my waterline, um, smoking it out, and making sure that it is really nice and blended. And then I'm going to be taking some mascara for the lower lash line. This is the Lash Accelerator Mascara by Rimmel. I really, really like this mascara for the lower lashes. It just really separates them really nicely, and it doesn't flake throughout the day. And now I'm going back to the face to contour. I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm using the lightest shade to contour. And I'm going in with, sorry that it's not focused, but I'm going in with the Morphe M523 brush. I use this to contour and it's amazing. It's just the perfect shape to get in there and contour. So I'm just going to apply this um, where I would normally contour and also on my forehead. And just make sure that's really blended out. And then I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun, and I'm using this Mikasa Beauty Big Fluffy Brush. It's the F100 brush, and all the links down below, you can get 15% off of the Mikasa Beauty website with my coupon code PackValerie15. I'll have everything down below for you. So I'm just going to apply this just to warm up our face. I really wanted a nice warm look because the eyes were really warm, so I wanted it to be nice and warm. So I'm just going to apply this. Now taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine and I'm using a Morphe E4 blush brush. I love this brush for blush and I'm just going to apply that on my cheekbones and make sure it's nice and blended. And then I'm going in with ColourPop's Wisp um, Chic Super Shock Chic Highlight. And I'm just going to apply this. This is a cream finish, but I'm going to set it with a powder. So I'm just applying this on my cheekbones. The reason why I'm doing this is because it makes your highlight stand out more and it also makes it last longer. So I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill Becca 
uh, face palette and I'm going to use a Morphe brush. It's the M501. I love this brush for highlighting. And I'm mixing those two shades together, the Champagne Pop and the uh, Prosecco Pop. And I'm using the mixture of both of these because it just gives you the perfect amount of golden but not too crazy. Okay, let's be real. I like my highlight a little crazy. So to line my lips, I'm going in with Max Lip Liner in the shade. Okay, it's in the shade Sore. I had to go look at it. Um, but I'm just going to line my lips with this and also fill them in. And I didn't want the lips to be too, too crazy because the eyes already were very dramatic. So once I line my lips and fill this in, I'm going to go in with a lipstick from Revlon. And I'm just going to put that over top the uh, of the lip liner. And it's just going to tone it down a little bit, but I really like the combination of the two of these. And this shade is actually rubbed off of my lipstick. I'm pretty sure it's in the shade Nude Attitude. I'm actually pretty positive because I wore this lipstick out like crazy in high school. And then I'm going to set this with the Pixi Setting Spray. I love this stuff. I got it from Target and I've been using it ever since. So that will complete this look. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!